Okay, we are live. Uh, hello, everybody. This is uh, Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. And uh, with me is uh, the Panda Man Evangelist, Brother Bill. And we were talking privately, and uh, we thought that we came up with uh, uh, something that is so important and needed to be said immediately. And, and, uh, and hopefully that uh, maybe this will be the beginning of something great for, for all of us. Uh, who have YouTube ministries. Uh, so first, Brother Bill, just just introduce yourself and say hi. Hello, yes, yes Brother Billy, or the Panda Man Evangelist. Uh, as you can tell, and I usually give this quick intro that, that, that I, I love to evangelize. And every now and then I do put on a Panda Man suit. You know, not always beneficial to myself, but nonetheless, I'm going to still put on my Panda Man suit a couple of times a year and I'm still going to hand out tracks, you know, for, for the glory of Christ and and his ecclesia, the called out ones, uh, us. Oh, man. Okay, brother, this is what I want to say now is not relevant at all to the subject of the day. Uh, but since you talked about the Panda Man suit, I will, I will confess to you and the public that many years ago, uh, when the first Batman movies came out, I got myself a Batman costume, and I would use the Batman costume uh, in a similar way uh, to try to um, teach children, use it as a prop in order to teach children. And uh, so uh, I'm not going to be going by the, Bat the Batman evangelist now, but I do have that kind of a background too. <laughs> so there you go. So I ain't, isn't just me that adorns myself with peculiar clothing. So Brother Luke has, has confessed now that he is the Batman. All right, let's get to the uh, the point of this uh, hangout. It's a spontaneous hangout. It may, may maybe be surprising anybody who may be watching now because uh, usually my my hangouts are uh, on a regular schedule, Sundays and Wednesdays, but. Uh, We've talked about this uh, in the past, brother, and casually, and and uh, might have even made a brief comment about it here and there. Uh, but I, I think that this is so important and could be so beneficial to not just you and me for in regarding our personal uh, YouTube ministries, but but for everybody, everybody on YouTube who wants to lift up the name of Jesus. This could be very helpful. It could be revolutionary and it can have a, a, a an unbelievable impact almost overnight if people will do this that's how important i think this this is and and why don't you just briefly explain what we're asking everybody to do now yeah yeah it's basically believe it or not and and it's to our shame you know within christendom you know I've watched over you know, many years, and I've been on YouTube many years also, how the, the you know, the, the anti-theist, you know, community, you know, they stick together. You know, if, if for example, say say one of them made a video, you know, mocking God, they, they would actually put on there, you know, please share. But oftentimes they didn't even need to do that because they do it automatically. And you, you see these anti-theist videos and they almost go viral, they go global. Because every single person, you know, as soon as they watch it, they will then share it to all their friends, and all their friends will share it to all their friends, and literally, in a matter of, I've seen it, in a matter of hours even, you know, a video going from, you know, 10 or 20 views to, 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 to 500, 1,000 views. And, and, you know, I'm taking a leaf out of their book, you know, and I think it's important that, that, that we, as Christians, you know, take on that, you know, use a better common sense. You know, we're here primarily for two reasons on YouTube, us as Christians, is one, to glorify and magnify Christ, and secondly, for fellowship. Now, if our primary purpose is to magnify Christ, which it ought to be, to be honest, then shouldn't we be sharing videos? You know, I get frustrated sometimes, I see an absolutely fantastic video by you, Brother Luke, and even Jack Smack. You know, he comes out with some real excellent teaching videos, and, and I'll go on there, I may comment and like it, 
and then go back on there a couple of hours later just to just to have a look and you know mine was the last comment and i said about 30 40 views and that is shameful because it, it is his videos your videos and there's a few other good brothers and sisters in christ on youtube that make excellent teaching videos but because they're not being plugged that they're not please share this and nobody's bother sharing it they're kind of getting nowhere which is detrimental i believe to to, to 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 the gospel because we need to preach you know use this fantastic you know technology we've got in front of us to really glorify christ and if we're being lethargic and, and not doing anything that's not bringing glory is it Yeah, it's, uh, I, I've said this many times that um, even though uh, doing ministry on the internet, uh, particularly what I focus on is YouTube and now Google Plus, um, there are some issues. We have some technical problems that we have to deal with and that can be you know, troublesome or frustrating. Fortunately, I've got some saints that have helped me a lot with the technological problems as they pitched in and it's been a blessing. Uh, but we also then we also have some problems within the body with strife and divisions. And so these are things that we, you know, that we the, the, the negative part. But but I've always felt that uh, and the reason I've been here for eight years. Um, and I've never I've never closed my channel. I never started a second channel. Eight years, one channel. Uh, I I have felt that I will never quit, and, and and because I recognize the great value of this as a tool, a tool, a great tool, uh, an engine for evangelism and for Bible teaching and for fellowship. Especially now that we have the Google Plus Hangouts, the fellowship is really something that is. Uh, uh, a great opportunity for all of us. Uh, so I, I recognized the, the the worth of this, and, and because of the great worth, I have been able to struggle through some of the technical and and uh, you know personal things that, that are the the bad part. But because the good is so great, it greatly outweighs any of the problems. Uh, so. This is a wonderful tool. It's 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 so remarkable. Yeah, look, brother Bill, you you're in England. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're having a live conversation. We can see each other face to face. We it's it's, it's almost instantaneous, and we could have up to ten more people joining us, and, and then it's going to be it can not only watching watch live to people all over the world, whoever's interested, and then it'll be posted and up there. And if I left the world tonight and went to be into eternity with my savior jesus guess what all of the videos i've ever put up all these years are still here ministering and teaching and hopefully blessing people for many years to come so this is how fantastic this tool of the internet is for us but as you pointed out we're not even scratching the surface in terms of the potential because we're not networking we're not like there's a there's a type of business that uh is is and a lot of people have gotten really really rich by doing this kind of business uh, some people call it multi-level marketing where you join the company and then and then your friends join the company and when their friends join the company you get credit and your it grows like a giant tree and and it can grow very very quickly if everybody is is busy uh, helping it grow. Uh, so we, that's where we've missed the boat. We're not approaching this in terms of like a multi level marketing. Uh, this is not a business to me. I don't have a PayPal account. I'm not here trying to make it grow for financial gain. I want it to grow for the glory of Jesus. And I, I hope that everybody else wants. Uh, everything we're doing here for Christ to grow too. If if you do want it to grow, if you do recognize the value of this, brother Bill, what are we recommending to to everybody, all of our viewers, all of our subscribers, anybody who's watching this right now? What are we recommending that they do? Well, we are recommending that that they 
they watch it first of all and they share it you know this is i suppose the beauty although google plus is a pain in many areas as you describe technical issues and stuff the beauty is you know we have circles so we have our own circle of friends and the public and everything else now if if someone watched this today even though only two people watched this and they had 30 people in each of their circles if they watched it and shared it there's 60 people have watched it now if them 60 people you know have 10 people in their set can you think of how you know how this could explode you know exponentially you know so so if anyone actually did you know just share it encourage others to watch it and they all share it and they share it and they share it and then, then, then the, you know when, when we have a real good humdinger of a hangout a real good teaching or there's an excellent video from another brother and sister in christ you know it could potentially go global then christ would be would be everywhere on the internet and again we, the, the problem is we're playing catch up all the time you know we're playing catch up with the atheists you know, years ago, the church was slow to even get on the internet. That was playing catch up. You know, as Christians, we need to be at the forefront. The disciples weren't playing catch up. They was out. They was, they was, that's all they done. You know, I'm not suggesting that's all we do as Christians, you know, because we're families and friends and other things, but this is really very small and minuscule in comparison to, to what the actual apostles done and then their disciples done. You know, it wasn't for them. If they was lethargic and they didn't really want to, you know, put the effort in just to click, you know, share, you know, th th that would have been it. <laughs> the gospel would have been killed within the first century and nothing would have come of it. And that would have been the Great Commission dead, you know, in a matter of a few years. You know, that, as far as I'm aware, you know, we still, <laughs> we still need to get the gospel out. To a dying world you know we was also talking about that as well how many people who are stuck in religionity and how many people are stuck in different cults and different religions and who are atheists and that lot well they need to hear the gospel and unless we actually share and then keep sharing you know they may never get to it and this is exactly what the, the atheists have done you know you get someone like the amazing atheists you know i think there's something that's ridiculous like i don't know millions upon millions upon millions of subscribers he's got because he's got a hardcore following that will share his videos and then they wish their friends will share and it just like I said, it explodes and i think you know we've got a far greater message than atheists a far greater message you know message than the people just advertising you know products and a far greater message than than, than these people who, you know playing songs you know we have the greatest message on earth and we're not using all our means that, that are at our disposal. We're not using it. And I, and I think it's time that, that perhaps the Ecclesia, you know, gives itself a big shake and wakes up and, and you know, and actually catches up with what, what is going on around them. I, uh, I know that what I'm asking everybody to do uh, that I I need to make sure that I'm doing it too. And I, I know that I, I have not been perfect in the past uh, what, what we're asking everyone to do now. But I, I, if, if anybody will go to my Google Plus page right now, uh, you'll see that there's a, I don't know how far back you can scroll back and watch it, but you can see on a daily basis. Now, first let me say that I'm retired from my career. I have a lot of free time, so my I have a, a full-time ministry. There's nothing that prevents me from doing this from all day or all night. So uh, I know that not everybody has the amount of time to put into these things as I do, but I, I watch a lot of videos and I and I make a lot of comments and I've given my home phone number to many people. I've spent hours on the phone talking to the saints that wanted to talk to me about something, spent hours doing private Skypes with people. And, and what I've also done, you can see it on the Google Plus page, at daily, there's several videos probably 
that I have shared on my Google Plus, on all my circles, I've shared it. And, and then, now that we have this Gospel of Grace community that Brother Bill started, uh, I, now I have an opportunity also to not only share my videos, but other people's videos on the Gospel of Grace community. And you can see that I've got a track record now. Now, I'm going to try to do even better. But what, I've, what I think is happening is that and there are some people who have shared my videos uh, occasionally here and there. And then there are some people who share my videos on a regular basis. And, and of course, you people, I'm, I, know, I notice what you're doing. And I'm really grateful for you sharing my videos. But the point I'm making is there's not, not enough of us doing it. Everybody should be doing it. If, you, if you're a, a subscriber of mine or Bill's or um, uh, you're in the, the, uh, the Gospel of Grace community or if you're in my circles and you see, see my videos, I hope 100% of you will, will do this now. Make it a vow an oath, a promise, or whatever, or however you want to look at this, make it a routine that you are going to share. I'm not asking you just to share mine. I want you to share Brother Bill's and, and Brother Jack Smacks and so many others that you like and you've told me, oh, I love what they're doing. Well, always share it. And if you notice when I share a video, I make a comment, put a comment at, at the top, and, it, and it's it's kind of a cliche now. For I've done it hundreds of times. I says, please watch, then share. Now I know some people watch and then share, but when you watch and share, would you also make that comment up there? Please watch, then share, and maybe that person will share, and then that person that watches will share, and that's how it grows in an exponential way so that, that things grow to great size very quickly. And we're not, we're not asking you to do this for our benefit. As I said, we're not, we're not in this as Peter said, or filthy lucre. It's, you don't see any PayPal account on mine or Brother Bill's channels. We're here because we love to tell the story of unseen things above of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I want to talk about Jesus every chance I get. And I know many of you watching, you want to do the same thing. You want to talk about Jesus. You want to hear about Jesus. It's for his glory. We're lifting up Jesus. as and That's what this is all about. We're not asking you to do this for us. We're asking you to do this for our Savior, Jesus. So make it a commitment that when you watch these videos and you think a video is, is, is valuable, you thumbs up, okay, th not just thumb up, share it as a routine, make it a habit, share it and put please watch, then share. And let's see what happens. I think everybody's channels, everybody's views, and the gospel of grace community that Bill started, it will grow. We've got over 100 members now, and it's grown very quickly already, but we can, that will grow to thousands and even thousands very quickly if everybody will say, join the Gospel of Grace community. And then those people say, join the Gospel of Grace community. So, Brother Bill, uh, I'll, I'll give it over to you for now. Yeah, yeah, spot on, spot on. And, and so as you're talking about that, you, know, you see all the scenarios through, through history. You know, could you imagine that they didn't bother, you know, using everything at their disposal. You know, in the time, even in the times of the Reformation, there were those who found the flames of the Reformation. It didn't just, you know, stop at Martin Luther. You know, he, he you know, got the Bible in German, you know, and they had the Gutenberg Press, which was their equivalent to the internet now, I suppose. It didn't just stop there. It wasn't just one off thing. There was others all around within these circles and they found the flames of reformation to the point that, that, that it is spread globally you know the american church uh, you know with, with the pilgrims when over america you know that the, the church in england was reformed you know they was breaking away from rome that would have never happened if people didn't bother and it's the same with the apostles 
You know, if, if they stayed in Jerusalem through fear, because they were, they were filled with fear, they didn't even want to come out of the houses, did they? But, you know, if they stayed with that apathy and they wasn't, feel, you know, filled with a passion that I believe me, you and a few others have got, they would have never got nowhere. And I think sometimes, you know, it's all fair and well understanding, you know, doctrines and, and theological ideas, but without the passion, the passion for this Christ, the passion for the gospel, and the passion to, to spread this good news, even, you know, we're not asking for a great cost here. We're not asking you to lay your lives down and take a bullet in the head, which so many do in these countries. All we're asking is have, have a little bit, you know, of, of unity. Have a little bit of, you know, encouraging one another. Have, have a little bit of just going out of your way for a few seconds or a few minutes in, in, in a day. And just do as Brother Luke says, you know, watch the video and then pass on to all your subscribers, please watch and share. And then if they've done the same, you know, we could fan the flames of, of an internet revolution potentially here. You know, for too long, YouTube and, and the internet has, has been hijacked. And, you know, the, 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 those who are against Christ have used every tool at their disposal to put down Christ, to put down the saints, and to try and silence Christianity. You know, and so I think it's far too long we've, we've been sat under that and been oppressed by that. We need to get, you know, our fingers out of our rear ends, excuse the French, and, and get in gear and start, you know, actually getting motivated and start, you know, plugging, you know, what are potentially absolutely fantastic salvific messages. And, and again, I will mention, because I have to mention, I watched an excellent video a few weeks ago, I think it was by Jack Smack, and, and I did go back there, and, and it hardly changed. You know, th this was a message that, it's simple enough for the average Joe on the street to, to listen to and be saved and go to heaven. Now, if that's only got 30, 40 hits, potentially it's only got 30 or 40 people that, that are in a position that, that can go to heaven because of that video. But if it had 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, really push the boat and go for a million, look at the potential that is there. So, you know, do as the apostles done, you know, in the times of old, come out your house, you know, don't be afraid. And, and you know, a brother did encourage me today, <laughs> as you know, I'm my friend, that, you know, we, you know, sometimes we do feel back down and we feel discouraged and afraid at times. But, you know, we've got to remember that, that, that Christ has already won the victory. We, we are a victorious church. You know, we're not a destroyed church. We're not a, a cowardly church. And I think we need to start, you know, waking, awakening to the fact that, that we are the church victorious. We are the ecclesia. We are the body of Christ. And we're the best message, you know, ever proclaimed in the whole history of the world. And we need to really plug it. You know, say, uh, a quick example. If someone said on the internet, right, everyone that passes this message on gets a million pounds. Everyone, there wouldn't be a person on the internet that wouldn't pass it around. Now, the message we're given is more precious than a million pounds, more precious than all the gold and silver on earth. Yet, we struggle just to pass it on. So, I'm going to encourage you just look at, just look at the, the gospel message as precious jewels. And anyone that passes it on, you know, receives precious jewels. And everyone receives it, you know, receives precious jewels. Something that's not perishable and it's eternal. Try and see it that way. Mm, boy, that was good. Very good points. Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've heard I've heard the example of the million pounds or a million dollars uh, in that way before, uh, and, and also I've also heard that used in terms of someone um, receiving salvation. You know, if, if I was offering you right now. All you gotta do is receive it, and I had a million dollars. You 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 grab it and you jump for joy. But the gospel, when we offer someone the gospel, they re if they receive that, they should really be jumping for joy because the million dollars is gone in 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 a, in a lifetime, and and now you've got eternity. But with the gift of salvation, 
it never ends the joy the joy it's it's a gift that it keeps on giving and giving you joy and it all through eternity it's so it's much more valuable than anything else and it's the same kind of a thing it is for in terms of witnessing would you would you pass out a tract to someone uh, free well what if we said you got a million dollars for passing out a retract I mean, it's a very good, very good illustration. I hope that inspires some people because when they share, it's like passing out tracts. It's like doing personal evangelism. Now, I know that what you said about what we're really asking people to do, I mean, if we look at what what it is, it's, it's almost nothing. There's no effort at all. You press the share button. Press that share button. We're not asking asking you, as brother brother Bill, Bill said, to go out and and uh, sing hymns as you're being as the the lions are coming to eat you in the arena. We're not asking you to to uh, hold on to your faith as Muslims around the world want to cut off your head right now. All through church church history, the the, the believers have paid such great costs. That's not. Most of the world Christians right now, like us, there's no cost to us. We're free to practice our faith and believe what we want and say what we want in much of the world. Be thankful for that. So this is as easy as just pressing a share button. Now, brother, I've had people tell me many times over the years, oh, brother Luke, you know, your street preaching videos uh, oh, well, I can never do that. I, it's it's such boldness what you're doing. It's it's and they just give me all this credit for what I'm doing. And brother Bill, you know, you you do the street preaching just as as I've done the street preaching, and and uh, we don't do it. It's the Holy Spirit is giving us the boldness. That that's that's the true test of of uh, the um, the evidence. You know, that some people say in Pentecostalism the the evidence of the baptism of the Spirit is speaking in tongues. But I think the evidence of the baptism of the Holy Spirit is the boldness to, to preach the gospel. And so we're, we go out there, we boldly preach the gospel, and some people tell me, oh, I could never do that. And they're, they're like, and I say, well, you don't have to do that. Not everybody's called to do that. They, 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 but I said, there are some things you can do. You, you, and this is one of those things. This is something that you can do. If you've been looking for something you can do, you can't street preach, you can't make a video, you can't do this and that, fine. We're not trying to impose something on you that you don't have a gift for, you don't have a talent for, you don't have the boldness for. We're just saying there is something you can do that will glorify Jesus and, and, and help, and that is press the share button all the time, make it a routine, Make it every time you see one of our, the videos that is proclaiming Jesus well. Press the share button and post, please watch then share. And everybody do that. And, and uh, this YouTube ministry, not only our channels, but other people's channels, and the Gospel of Grace community, if you haven't joined it, please join it. It's a collection of people who agree that with the core doctrines of Christianity, Jesus is eternal God Almighty. Salvation is a free gift by faith alone in Christ alone. No religious work is required for our salvation and eternal security. Once we receive salvation, we cannot lose it for any reason. So the, the people in the gospel of grace community, we all share these core beliefs. We all adhere to that. We may not agree on a hundred other things, but at least we agree on these core doctrines. So we want this gospel of grace community to grow. Share it. Invite people to join it. Tell people about it. Please do it for, for the glory of Jesus. Brother Bill? Yeah, oh man, yeah, and it really is. Again, it's so important. It's so simple. You know, we don't have to thanks be to God and, and, and all the blood, believe it or not, that was shed proceeding to where we are now. Many of saints have to die to where we got now. You know, many saints died just to get the Bible out to the public. Many saints died, you know, trying to just or to, to all write the gospel. You know, we're not asking you to literally lay down your life. You know, it may come to that eventually one day, you know, but at the moment, 
we, we have such a, an amazing technological gift, you know, and, and we're not using it. And, and that, 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 that is what I suppose has spurred me and you on, Brother Luke, to make this video today, as we were talking about. We have so much, you know, we, the, the, you know the body of Christ and, and individuals in the body of Christ, comparison to years ago, we have so much, yet we do so little. You know, I'm not condemning any Christians. It's, you know, I call this a little wake-up call or a shake-up, you know, but you know, with, with everything we've got at our disposal, you know, Google+, Plus, YouTube, the internet, should be absolutely proliferated with the true gospel of Christ. And, and to be honest, we're all lazy, I suppose, even I'm guilty, as you are as well, Luke, sometimes, and we may need to kick ourselves out of the backside as well. But, you know, please, I, I encourage everyone who watches this video to do as Brother Luke says. Watch it and just share it. That's not burdensome. You know, that's not a, that's not a hard task. And, and, you know, it, it's not not being thrown to the lines. It is very simple. Just press that button, share, and just let God take the glory and let his magnificent gospel go out. Because that is the heart of this. And, and, I, and I'll re-emphasize what Brother Luke said. We're not in this for self-glorification at all. You know, I, 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 at principle, I said, and, and Luke knows this as well, right from the very start, I will not monetize my channel. I won't do it. I'm not interested. You know, if anything, I'll put my own money into these things. You know, whether it's making tracks, I print out, I buy my own tracks. Whether it's making a website, I do all that. You know, we're not interested in self-glorification. We're not interested, you know, in, in, in financial gain. You know, we're not we're not false Christians here. Like, you know, you get many out there who are only interested in gain, and you've got to sow the seed and get money and stuff like that. We're not proclaiming that. We're not interested in that. All we want to do, if we call it, you know, right to the, the, the brass tacks of the situation. We just want to see Christ glorified and we want to see many, many more people with us come that great day, you know, when we're in glory with Christ. You know, we just want to see more multitudes. That's the only reason to do this. And all we ask is just watch, share and encourage all that you share the video to, to do the same. It's that simple. All right, Brother Bill, uh, unless uh, you think of something else we need to add to this, uh, I'm, I would be afraid to make this a long video because the longer videos, people are more leery about watching. They may not have the time. So uh, let's not belabor it anymore. Uh, and, and just uh, I hope that uh, I hope that people heed this. And I, I will. I'm really, really excited about the possibilities of what could happen if people watch this video share it and then it goes like down the hill like a snowball and we all grow not for our glory but lifting up jesus glorifying him brother i'll give you the last word then i'll, I'll close the the live broadcast yeah just put your arm into what you just said and yeah just just take the advice that that, 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 that brother lucas has just given you know just watch and share this and you know also, you know, I think, you know, if, as Brother Luke said as well, and I've said, you know, you, you do fundamentally believe in, in the three core doctrines, you know, come and join us at the Gospel of Grace community. Let's see that grow as well. You know, let's see, you know, many brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, encouraging one another, you know, looking after one another and just being, you know, one accord, you know, as the early church was. Let, let it be in these latter days. That we are one accord and that we will generally have a genuine love and compassion for one another. So please join the group. All right. And I, I just want to tell all those people who actually have been sharing the videos, uh, there are some who, as I said earlier, have been sharing my videos. Some of them share it quite frequently. And, uh, you know, we really do appreciate that. So uh, I'm just praying that more people will jump on this bandwagon so that's it let's see what happens i'm hopeful and uh, i uh, 
last thing I want to say is bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus Christ.